Hey up, Voxesto here and tonight we're on the centre to show you a sort of run through from the first little bass you build to this gorgeous solo sort of alpha style bass end game, whatever you want to call it, you know how it is. So we're going to be going from the little wood starter bass to stone and then we're going to upgrade it as we go to this bass, what you're seeing here with a bit of everything look, a bit of electricity. Bit of fabricator, you need that. Bit of chem bench, you know. Bit of that side. And then down here we've got a bit of nothing. Bit of the business. Bit of bed and loads of doors. Some more smeltery. Bit of nothing. <laughs> and some uh, math. Right, so. If you like the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, people. Look at this spot. Now you want to go for a spot that's quite flat because you need to upgrade quite a lot and natural defences are always best so we're going to go near this wall. Now this spot is quite close to a lot of good resources as well so it's going to be pretty nice and I'm like talking through doing this because it's building a little one square hut as everyone knows how to do it. But I like to push my bed right to this corner. And obviously put put this in before you put your door in because it's a bit easier to do. Bung a couple down. Then we'll get some mortar and pestles. Look, that's fine down there. Get some mortar and pestles, where are they? There they are. And we're just gonna creep a couple under here, look. They'll just be peeking out at us. There you go, two of them there, and then we'll put some more this side. Obviously you can stand on top of them does mean however once the ceiling's on you will have to crawl but that's not a problem because you know if you have to crawl but you're protected then you know you, you, you can't moan about that there you go door whack that open ceiling bosh there you go what a lovely little home to start with that'll get you up and running you better have to get some more stuff get them levels grinding got two beds so when you die you can keep coming back more a little quicker stuff like that yeah oh that's the best one I built yet right okay so it's raining now and we're going to stone so we're just going to wrap around it like that obviously you can upgrade the middle bit now to stone as well but I'm not going to bother just yet I'm just going to crack on with it we might leave it just like it is for the whole sort of tutorial but obviously if you keep seeing it later on, remember you're supposed to be upgrading it yourself. We're putting in some fence foundations around the edge. Just run out. Don't matter, I'll put that in later. And then what that's going to do is that's going to let us do double walls. Because you want them double walls. Can't beat that. We need to put in a smithy. That's the sort of stuff you'll be looking at putting in around about this sort of level. Here we go, look. I mean, go in K mode, get it nice and close to them fence foundations. I'm going to wing it and put it about there. Oh, miles off. Waste of time. And then this side, we're just going to get some fire refineries. There you go. Let's probably get like three in here. We might squeeze four. I'm pretty sure we'll only get three. It's like more red than it usually is for some reason. Weird. There we go. And then why not just put another one over there? Can we? No, we definitely can't fit one in here, can we? Just wiggle around, see where you can fit one. I mean, we might even fit one here. Yeah, look, there you go. Yeah, there's no problem with that. I'm not sure I put them on there, I'll tell you that much. That looks alright to me. We need to get these other walls in. Like that. Like that. Lovely. And then... What else could we fit in here? See, we're going to put sort of doors in that middle bit. So we want to think about probably making more out of the space we've got. I mean, we can put a few more, a few more mortar and pestles down because we can use them as boxes as well as their normal functionality, functionability. How many can we get in here? I reckon four. 
I reckon four's the winner. I reckon five. Oh, there's five going in. Oh, I'm just going to go crazy and put another one here as well. Look at that. Look at that. Get as many as you can in. The more the better. Right, so, we've got our doors in. Ah. Looks nice. That works. That looks nice. That works. Now, we want to be putting some preserving bins in. Try and keep our perishables. Obviously, this is another K mode moment. Orbital camera. Malarkey. I'm just going to wing it. Because it don't really bother me. Obviously, you know, do go into K mode. Get as much room as you can in these these little builds, people. I mean, look at that. I've, I've wasted loads of space there. But it don't really matter too much. So, get all them in. And then get your walls all the way around. Double walls. Let's have a look. Okay, so... Actually do need to put that one back here as well. And then pop the walls just like so. I mean even if you pop one there you can you'll still be able to get get the one behind it. It's it's not a problem which way around you do it. And then here's the little cubby hole what we started with. It's nice, it's nice. And then we want to be putting a door there as well, so double door that bezler. Where am I? Oh, there they are. Okay. Just like that. Smack them in. What? This is like a door opened with nothing opening, that was weird. And then wall around the rest of it. Until you've got a box. Right, so, upgrading the inside so I don't forget. You mustn't forget as well, people. It's all about that upgrading. As you go through them levels. And then, whoop, ah, get the ceiling. Obviously, you can double ceiling this, make sure you do. And it's starting to look like a bit, bit of a better base. Bit of a better base. Look at that. So that's pretty much going to set us up. We can make loads of metal in here. And we're nicely protected by all the double walls. Right. So, we've just made absolutely tons of metal. So now we're going to do the metal upgrade. Now this is the biggest mission going. I think that's placed a bit weird. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen a lower foundation come off at an angle like that, but... Let's go with it. Let's say you've just placed it like this and you're wondering, hmm, can I still do it? Well, yeah, there you go, it still works. Might be a bit funky on the walls later on, but that's just a thing. Yeah, it will be a little bit funky. I'm down with funky. The funk is real tonight. So, let's get all these in. Let's go all the way around. They're actually snapping in a bit easier. It's because of the offset. They're not wiggling around as much. Look at that. Nice. Haven't wasted one yet. Jinx that, haven't I? No. He's still going. I'm going to do it up here. I can go mad now. Look at that. He's, he's pro. He's done it before, hasn't he? He must have done it before. It's not even right. So... Get your metal fence foundations in. We're going to wrap them all the way around. Make sure you go on the inside. Right, fence foundations are in. Pillars are up. They're three pillars high for now. That'll help protect the foundations as well. And before we go any further, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to get all the doors in see what sort of uh, scenario we can make. Where did I just... Oh, there they are. Right, so, we're going to put a door here. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem with this. 
I knew these foundations would snap funny and just ruin my day. And then we're going to put a door here because we're going to make a f bit of a s different airlock this time. Give the raiders a choice of two doors to go for. One obviously being better than the other. Can I even... Yeah, okay. Looks alright. So, one's going to go one way, one's going to go the other way. Let's get the old fence foundations in. Plop one there, let's plop one there. That went that side, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll keep it symmetrical. We must. It's a habit. And then this side's going to be a... Oh, this side's just going to be a wall. So you'll go through there to nothing. Or like maybe something, you know, we could put something down there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to bother. And then this side is going to be a door. It's going to be a door. Yay. We did it. And they work. Right, so. Open this one, go through, wall, and absolutely nothing. Sounds good to me. Open this one, go through, absolutely nothing but another door to lead to another two doors to lead to another however many doors you want to put in really. So we're looking at about to get to the core. Right, here we go. So to get to the core, you're looking at two, four, six, eight doors you're gonna to have to go through to get to that last core bit with a bed. So it's looking pretty good, it's looking pretty tight, but if you're on your own, you ain't got to worry about bumping into people and messing around. So let's get ceilings on, let's start slapping them on. Remember, you want to double them up, double everything up, go twice as crazy. Right, so ceilings are in, on that middle one, where all the doors meet, we want to put a nice hatch. Look at that. She's a beaut. And that's the one in front of the bedroom. So, remember when you're putting these in, always use your uh, wooden ones. Because they'll blow up when they try and blow other things up. So, it'll just annoy people. And it's looking good. It's looking sweet. Right, so, we want some fence foundations down now try and figure out where you want to put them. I mean we're gonna go on the inside of the last ceiling. Let me just try and actually snap some. Ridiculous I'm gonna skip loads of this. So there you go look. Skip loads of it. I've got this sort of funny shape and we're gonna come here as well. Just like that look. So around the hatch frame, one there. That could be where our generator goes. Nice spot for a generator, really. Because obviously there's there's that mountain like behind us. So people aren't going to be raiding from that side. So it's going to be the mammoth. What's he up to? So that's going to be the best place for our generator, really. And then a fabricator can go next to that. This is going to be a K-mode moment. Definitely a K-mode moment. I might even, yeah, I think I'm just going to slap a wall in just so I've got something extra to go off. If you know what I mean. So I can see the clippage. So let's straighten up, get down. That looks straight. I've just ruined it by looking up. I don't know why I've done that. Let's look down. Probably looking down too much now. Where is it? Yep. Oh, I've ruined that again. You can't place it in your bum, mate. It's too big for that business. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That was a terrible thing to say. Especially for a PG channel. Right, so. Plenty of room to put the fabricator. Since we put the uh, fence foundations on the outside of where we're placing the fabricator. So that's pretty nice. Obviously we're just going to have one doorway into that. And then smack your walls in. Here we go. Right, so we've got 
sped it up a bit. We've got a chem bench this side, loads of room to place. And then we've got, over this side, we've got two fridges. Loads of room to place more things if you want to. We've got this corridor as well. Then inside we've got... We haven't got anything in here yet. Um, yeah, let's put the industrial grill in here. I mean, with these sort of things, in, in the middle of the base, you don't need to worry about them clipping through walls so much because if no one's going to see them from the outside. So let's bung that in there, look. It's a bit tight, but does the job. Don't stick out. No one can muck about with it. And then we could put a bed here. I'm going to put this bed here, but I'll tell you what, I'll bet later on, I bet it becomes a burden. Because it's just going to stop us using things. Yeah, you can walk through it, but when you're in it, you can't do anything. So, probably don't put that there. Just just use a normal bed. Be sensible. Because you can just stack them on top of each other. But yeah, looks good. It's looking good. Definitely like how it looks. Loads of extra room in there. No room at all in there. But then we've got all this extra room down here. Let's have a little fly. Look, look at that. Looks science, doesn't it? Looks like we've been playing Theme Hospital or something. Really made made the most of the budget. <laughs> oh, it's not often I do something so nicely technical looking, sort of, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't even know what I mean, guys. I'm literally just chucking away this crystal. Look at my beard. It's took me forever. Right, so, before we put the ceilings on, we're going to go hatch frames. We're going to go in this chem bench side. Now, before you place your ladders, always place your hatches. Because you don't want to end up having the ladder exactly... Come on, open up. You don't want to have the ladder the same way the hatch opens because y you won't be able to actually get out of it. So put them in first, then put your wooden ladder in. Once again, always with the wooden ladders, people, because they blow up easily. And then double sealing, double sealing the lot. Fill up all them gaps. Right, so we've extended the pillars a little bit, another couple. And we're going to go with a gate up here, because we want to be able to fly a couple of dinos in. Now, you could put it there. That would be quite nice against that pillar. But we're just going to put it more central, so... There we go. We're at an odd number on the base, so we can't really put it bang central. But that will do us. That looks good to me. Put the old fence foundations in. <coughs> About there, yeah, about there, and then we want a wall up, double wall all the way up. So they definitely have to go through both gates. This will be a weak point, though. Right, so walling all the way up, just one off the top. So it's three walls, and then do a ceiling, then another wall, then do another ceiling, double ceiling, and both double wall, absolutely everything. As you can see here, it's looking quite nice. What's going on there? Let's flush that off a bit. I mean, if you can put more, if you can put more walls on, put more walls on. It don't matter, does it? No one's going to say, "Ugh, you've got too many walls," or "Ugh, you're overprotected." Well, that don't matter. There's dinosaurs out there, let alone people. Alright, so let's wall this up. Now you've seen exactly where them ceilings are. And. Oh, well, that's a bit weird. Oh, well, look, I actually filled the gap but demolished one to do it. Well, that's just a thing. It looks flush now, doesn't it? Looks lots nicer now. So there you go, we've got a box. So I'm going to throw in some defences. Some turrets and that sticking out of the front and out the side. You know how to do it. It's not too hard at all. And I'll be right back when that is done. Right, so here we go. We've got loads of catwalks, loads of turrets. Don't look too bad. 
since it was raining I thought I'd quickly take advantage of that and get some plant X's up we're going to use the old protected plant X sort of job so we want to don't, don't use metal stuff straight away just put down like wood stuff and then you need this second one you need it to poke through just a little bit if you know what I mean will it let me get it oh there it was yep there it is so that pokes out just a little bit that's what you need to happen that's the key part to actually making this and then convert that one to metal just like that and then, if you can't afford wood, just use thatch. Don't really matter. I'm just going to throw away that stuff. So, once that's up, put thatch or wood around it like this. Just so you've got more snap points. Little walkway up. Then all we're going to be doing is, we're going to be popping one of these in. Dead centre on that. About there. That's good to me. So with that in, we're then going to use metal railings, not fence foundations. These are the metal railings. They'll help protect it. And then we're going to get a hatch frame. Well, do you know what? We'll just put the stuff in there first. Just so it's in there. This much messing around and it stopped raining now as well. So that's a bit annoying. So then, with that pillar sticking up just a little bit, the metal hatch frame actually sits above the, uh, oh, yeah, I don't really matter, I can get rid of these now. Yeah, it actually sits above the crop plot, which protects it from attackers. And then you can also put the hatchet, hatch itself in, and when it rains, it will still get wet, people. It will rain through that, don't worry about it. So then, we can just leave that be. And there you go. Protected. I'm sure you've seen that before. Right guys, here we are. We're finally finished. I'm going to give, give you a little bit of a tour of it. We've gone from wood all the way up to this nice metal base. And what do you reckon? I've only put three of the uh, plant X's in because... You, you can put in as many as you want. I don't need to put in a hundred to show you where to put them. You just put them anywhere. Right, so let's start off with the bottom floor. We come in here and there's nothing. Obviously, you can use this space, people. You don't have to keep it as nothing. Upgrade that stone, though. Don't leave the middle as stone. I've left it as stone. I don't know why. Then this side, exactly the same. Could be used for something if you need it to be. But then this is where we actually get into the core of the base. So two doors on everything, guys. So here we go. Now we're in the centre bit. We've got our preserving bins, smithy, forge, mortar and pestle, blah, malarkey. Let's go to the next room. In here we've got mortar and pestle, mortar and pestle, forges, more mortars and more pestles. It's a bumpy ride in there, guys. you got to keep that head down. You'll get knocked out. Right, so, here's our little bedroom. Inner sanctum. More mortar and pestles. Let's open them up. Let's go up and have a look. Right, so in here, we have got the electricity. I literally, with that, I just went up into the second floor. From there, I, uh... Qua, I knew this would happen. Right, so don't make one of these bunk beds, just use normal beds and use plenty of them because once you're inside it, you can't interact with anything like that. I wonder if I could cheat it and sort of just wiggle and shut the doors and then open them. No. Okay, now I can't even open the door. No, that's doing a hatch. Alright then, bed. I'm just going to kill you. Right, that's better. So place normal beds, don't be an idiot. We've got a nice grill in here. Cooking the old steaks. Now will beat steak. Oh look, that's the hatch frame opening. Wondered what that noise was. But yeah, and then in here we've got the uh, fabricator. 
nice. Nice look fabric here. And then go outside along the corridor. This side we've got two fridges. You could probably fit a third one in if you wanted to. There's room for some other stuff like more mortar and pestles. Bits and bobs like that. And then this side we've got the chem bench and the ladder going up. So there's a chem bench look. Whee! Let's get them doors shut. Get this hatch open. Get this hatch open. Just like that. Right. Tickle up there. Shut them. There we go. We've got the industrial grinder up here, guys. And there's the gates. As you can see, it is a weak point, guys. If you wanted to make the base better, I'd just say drop the gates because the gates are never good. And then hop up here. Got this extra little bit, a little bit of a cubby hole just to protect the top of them. Stuff like that, and you can see where the electricity is going. The electricity just goes straight up from the thing itself and then just goes across. That's literally all it is, each side. And that should reach all your turrets. So let's have a little. Oh, look. Oh, what are you doing on here? This is Penguin Island. You're supposed to be a saver on here, you do not belong. I'll rescue you, penguins. I'll rescue you, yes. Just be on your. D Just have a normal day now, guys. Just chill out. Have some kippers and whatever. Alright, so. That's where you get all your stuff, all your metal, oil, polymer. It's all there, guys. Nice and close. You just fly straight in here. Look at that. It's not a bad base if I don't say so myself. Oh, shut that door quickly for the outro. So yeah, look at that. We've gone straight from wood to metal. Well, straight from wood to stone to metal. And we've got most of the things in there we're going to need for a solo experience. I mean, you could throw in some tribes as well. They'd fit in there, but it don't really matter. So if you like the episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, people. See you soon.